Hi, and welcome to this brief demonstration of CyberArk Identity's App Gateway functionality. This allows you to make any on-prem application available to remote users and without the need for a VPN. In order to demo this functionality, we'll need some sort of on-premise application. In this case, I'm using Splunk. You can get a license of Splunk for free, and that allows you to deploy it on a local machine. In this case, I've put it on a virtual machine, and then use the app gateway to make it accessible to remote users. As you can see, this application is installed on a local IP address, so obviously it will not be available to the public internet. Now we have a CyberArk user named Mike who works for an organization named GreenTech, and he needs access to this application. So his administrator will add the application in and put in the URL for the application. Next, under the permissions section, he will add a group called Data Analysts, to which Mike belongs. He saves it, and this gives Mike permission to access this application. And the final step is he goes into the App Gateway section to configure the specific areas that are needed to make the application gateway successful. The first step to configure an application with the App Gateway is just to click this checkbox to make the application available via the internet. This automatically puts in the internal URL from the application settings area. And now the most important choice that you'll need to make is whether or not to use the automatically generated URL or to use the original URL. Using the auto-generated URL is the simplest choice because it requires nothing more than just to select this little radio button. If you'd like to use this uh, for testing purposes, that's a great way to do it. Um, if you don't really care what URL your users see, then you can also continue to do this. However, if you'd like in production to use the original URL for the application, then you have the option to upload an SSL service certificate that relates to that application domain, and uh, you will need to change some DNS entries as well locally. However, this will allow you to use your original application URL, both internally and externally, and it will allow all your users' existing bookmarks into the application to continue working. So there's a good advantage of that in production. In this case, I've just chosen the auto-generated URL because we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. Now, there are some gateway options available. Um, in this case, I haven't had to modify any of them, but you do have the option to, for example, lock a session to a particular IP address and so on. Um, again, these are sort of more advanced options. You don't necessarily need to change them in order to get this working. You do have also a diagnostics tool, so if the app gateway doesn't work, you can run this and try to identify what the problem is. And you can choose which connector to use with the service. If you have multiple connectors deployed in your environment, I have two, and I know that one of my connectors is on the same exact machine that my application is deployed on, so I've chosen this one. But you can also choose any available. And then when you're done, you can click Test Connection which will try to contact the application to make sure that the connection is successful. You get a little green checkbox. And now that you know that your users are going to be able to use the application after you click the Save button. We can now switch back to the user, Mike. And we notice that uh, because the administrator added Splunk to his list of applications, he can now access it. Mike simply just needs to click on the application, and he gets single-click access into Splunk, as you can see, the URL is the slightly modified URL and not the original one. But nonetheless, it gives us access into the Splunk application. And now Mike can go ahead and do his work on any machine of his choice and doesn't have to be on his network, doesn't have to be connected to any VPN. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration.